Nuclear magnetic resonance absorption. A sample of water is placed in an external magnetic field, B. Each proton of the water molecule has a nuclear spin 1 half and a small magnetic moment, mu0. Since each proton can point either up or down, it can be in one of the two possible states of respective energies, minus plus mu0, B. Suppose that one applies a radio frequency magnetic field of frequency nu which is such that it satisfies the resonance condition h nu is equal to 2 mu 0 b where 2 mu 0 b is the energy difference between these two proton states and h is Planck's constant then the radiation field produces transitions between these two states causing the proton to go from the up state to the down state or vice versa with equal probability the net power absorbed by the protons from the radiation field is then proportional to the difference between the numbers of protons in the two states. Assume that the protons always remain very close to equilibrium at the absolute temperature of the water. How does the absorbed power depend on the temperature T? Use the excellent approximation based on the fact that mu0 is so small that mu0 b is much less than kT. So we have uh, two energy levels corresponding to the two possible uh, moment orientations. We have uh, when the moment is minus mu zero, we have an energy plus mu zero b. And when the moment is plus mu zero, we have an energy minus mu zero b. And the transitions between these two states uh, can happen. So we can have a resonant absorption of a photon energy, H nu. Uh, so for resonant absorption, when we have an up magnetic field, resonant absorption will occur if we have the difference in energies between these two levels 2 mu 0 b equals to h nu the energy of the photon being absorbed and then the problem statement says the net power absorbed uh, varies as the number of uh, atoms or molecules in the and the number of protons in the uh, e minus energy with uh, state with energy e minus minus the number of protons in the state with energy e plus so n minus is number of uh, protons in the state with energy e minus and M plus is number of protons in the state with energy E plus. And we, we already know that uh, the number of protons in the E minus energy, uh, the minus state will be proportional to the probability of occupancy of that state, which is C times E to the minus beta uh, mu zero B. And uh, so because it's the number of accessible states for that um, energy divided by total number of accessible states, which gives us a factor of C. And similarly, the occupancy uh, probability of the plus state will be C times E to the beta uh, mu zero B. And you can note that P plus plus P minus is equal to one that is normalization so it's either uh, in, in either one of these states so that uh, the c is e to the beta mu zero b plus e to the minus beta mu zero b is equal to one so c can be found from here okay so uh, mu zero b is much less than kt so uh, we can say that uh, mu zero b is much less than one over beta or beta mu zero b is much less than one 
So if you remember, exponential x for x much less than 1 is given by 1 plus x, that's Taylor expansion, Taylor's, Taylor's series expansion, the first two terms. Uh, so in this normalization equation, I would have for e to the beta mu zero b, one plus beta uh, mu zero b with this approximation. And for e to the minus beta mu zero b, I would have one minus beta mu zero b with this approximation. So these two cancel and this must be equal to one. So I find that c is equal to one half. Then I look at the difference in the numbers and minus minus and plus this varies as the difference in the probabilities of occupancy p minus and p plus so it is 1 over 2 e to the minus beta mu 0 b minus e to the plus beta mu 0 b and uh, using the same approximation here this is 1 over 2 1 minus beta mu 0 b and then here this would be 1 plus beta mu 0 b because of the minus sign minus 1 minus beta uh, mu 0 b so I would get the ones cancelling and I would have uh, minus 2 beta mu 0 b so this would give me uh, for the difference in the probabilities minus 2 beta mu 0 b divided by 2 uh, so these two two will cancel and I will find that uh, this is uh, minus mu 0 b divided by kt therefore it varies as 1 over t so I find that the net power absorbed p power absorbed uh, varies as 1 over okay so uh, nuclear magnetic resonance absorption we talked about uh, water placed in a magnetic field so that its uh, protons are getting polarized and we have two possibilities plus mu zero and minus mu zero corresponding energies mu zero b and minus mu zero b and uh, so that's obtained when mu zero is uh, up. So this is magnetic moment is plus mu zero. This is when the magnetic moment is minus mu zero. The resonant absorption will occur when I apply a radio frequency magnetic field with frequency h nu uh, that is equal to two mu zero b difference between the energy levels. And the power absorbed is proportional to the difference in the uh, numbers of uh, um, protons in the minus state and plus state. So the, the, the difference can be found by considering the probability of occupancy of these states, which is proportional to e to the minus beta energy of that state. So for e minus, if this would be e to the minus beta mu zero b. For e plus, this would be e to the plus beta mu zero b. And the normalization condition tells me with the approximation that beta mu zero b is much less than one, the normalization constant is one half. And if I look at the difference in the probability of occupancies, it, uh, with this approximation, it is minus mu zero b over kt, which tells us that the net power absorbed is proportional to one over t.